Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the rule's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. 
A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a wraith? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge.
It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her, sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. 